In every ecosystem, living things are linked by the food they eat and the energy they get from the food. These links taken together make up the food web. Food chains within these webs often involve predator and prey relationships. The grasslands of the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania are home to a great diversity of animals, each dependent on the next for survival. Here, where the climate is dry and the soil is poor, grass collects energy from the sun and kicks off each food chain. Plant eaters, like these gazelles, feed on the grass, and in so doing, they help even more grass grow back in its place. The large number of plant-eating animals found in the Serengeti provides food for many predators. Each predator has its own techniques for hunting prey. Reaching speeds of more than 100 kilometers per hour, cheetahs are fast enough to run down gazelles. Lions aren't so fast and tend to sneak up on their prey with little warning. Hyenas can bring down animals more than three times their own weight. One zebra yields plenty of food for a group. Most of the time, these predators work together, but in the end, they often compete with each other for the catch. Hyenas and cheetahs are fierce competitors. Not only do they steal each other's food, they also attack each other's cubs. At a pinch, these predators become clever scavengers. Large predators need to eat less frequently than other animals because their bodies use up energy at a much slower rate. Anything they leave behind gets broken down and eventually returned to the soil as nutrients for plants. The food chain always starts as photosynthesis and ends in decay.
This ASMR has now concluded. Today Marvin will be exploring a recent dead pedophile's home who is said to haunt the house. I brought this piece of plant into my house. It was uh, a leaf of some sort. It belonged to a plant outside of my, my place. It was covered in this white foam, like a gauze or cotton. I couldn't figure out what it was. I, I brought it inside to see if I could get a better look, a brighter look. Maybe this is a fungus. Maybe something else. Maybe it's spider webs. Inside there are millions of little, 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 little spiders, spiders that are just waiting to come out. And they're trapped in their own webs. I thought about, I could free them. I could free them all. They'd crawl up my hand and I'd make them something, something greater. They'd become a part of me and, and together we would be something more than just a little human or a little spider. Something, something more. more. Something, something more. More. Something more. Something more. So I was thinking today, like, they closed the borders off for this, and like, I'm not panicking, but like, for the flu, they don't close the borders, right? And the flu, if you've ever had the flu, it feels like you're fucking dying, right? And like, people do die from the flu, like, tons of people die from the flu. But like, they don't close the borders off for the flu. But they are for this. So, like, what exactly, how bad really is this if they're, like, closing the borders off, you know what I mean?
Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy here. I got some special advice for you. I just got out of the shower and that's because I got some wet sexual advice. That's right, it's sexual, it's wet. It's all here for you today. I'm gonna teach you a couple lessons that you need to learn. If you have a girl and you don't wanna get her pregnant, I got something special for you. I got a trick, I got a sample. I don't listen to your teachers at school. They don't know nothing. They don't have the type of advice I got because I'm the straight preacher, okay? I got the preaching streets on my back. And that's what we're gonna show you right now. I got a sample for you right here. Okay, I got two sponges and I got a and I got a bottle of soap, okay? This soap right here, you can see, has a nozzle, and that's because it looks like a penis, and these sponges, they look like a vagina. I don't know if you've seen one, but if you ever do, you'll see that this is exactly what it looks like. I'm gonna show you a trick right now that will make sure that your girl never gets pregnant. That's a very important trick because you don't want to get your girl pregnant. You want to make sure that you guys have a kid-free life your whole life. And so if you want to do that, you need to learn a lesson, this lesson right here. Okay, so most guys out there, they always start like this, okay? They go pop, 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 pop. Okay, that's not good enough, you know? Why? Because this little gap right here, this is the pregnancy gap. That's the kid barrier, okay? You pass the kid barrier, you're gonna get kids out of that. You don't wanna get kids. You wanna get a cat, you don't wanna get kids. So this is what you gotta do, okay? It's a very special secret. Now there's a little couple things that you gotta do, but I'm gonna show you the example first. First, this is what you gotta do. All right, you see what happens here? This is the kid barrier. Now it's very hard because I don't have a better example, but you got soap here, soap here, soap here. The soap represents, of course, um, the, the fertilizing material. And you got the, the sponges here that they represent the, uh, I'm losing it. <laughs> if this is what you're doing right here, little drizzle drazzle, you don't want that. You don't want the drizzle drazzle. You gotta do more than that. Now how do you do more than that? Well, like I said, bam. Okay, you do the bam, the soap, the soap, you can't really see it. If I dyed this soap, if I had thought about this video a little bit earlier, maybe you'd see this, but the soap just goes bam onto the back of the sink. You wanna put your soap on the back of the sink. And when I say your soap, I am of course referring to, to your semen. They say if you look into a mirror for just the right amount of time, you stare right into your own eyes. You will eventually see your own asshole. You know, you'll see what you want to see. The cool you, the slick you, the happy you, the you that you think everyone else sees, but it's just you looking at yourself in a mirror. But even this fantasy version for most of us doesn't last long. The more we stare, the more we see flaws in our skin, our hair, our teeth. Eventually it cracks us. We start doing weird things to keep yourself pretty yourself beautiful, keep yourself happy, but none of these things work because at the end of the day we're all going to die and fade and age and there's nothing you or I can do about that.
Um, it, this is my first YouTube video. I haven't really spoken in front of this many people in a long time. Um, and it's my first vlog. I, I haven't really spoken a group to a group since uh, the Michael Jackson trial. I, I was a child witness. Um, but that's actually a lie. I've never seen Michael Jackson. Just his penis. Just a little information about myself. Um, I'm pretty tall. Um, if you, I don't know if you can tell here. But um, you know, I, I don't have really any friends or family here. I, I, I don't have any, actually. So I, I, I don't. Um, um, people, people like to tell me that I'm animated, and I, I guess I am. Um, uh, I, I get, I get told that a lot by the friends I used to have, and um, my parents always said it made them nervous, which um, is actually the last thing they ever said. But um, I moved to Miami. Uh, I'm not really sure why. I, I mean, the only thing that Miami is known for is the beach, and I, I don't even like the beach. The only thing the beach has is water, and I don't like water. I mean, that's why I peed out. I don't need it. So. I don't know what the, the, the purpose of a beach is anyways to just sit there. I, I haven't done a video before but I have watched a lot of YouTube videos and I, I know that they, I, a lot of them have like um, segments where they like cook or something and that's that's what I want to do. Um, I'm gonna crave myself a snack. Better need something to snack on. What's we got in here? Mm, something to snack. Oh. I'll get myself some mayonnaise. Hmm? Mm. I'll just heat that up a little bit and need a little. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I love some hot mayonnaise before bed. Mm. Oh. oh, darn it.
did you hear about Jaden and it's like the hottest in Hollywood right now like everyone knows except you but now you do know so like California is on fire like really badly but before I talk about any of that depressing stuff you want to get fucked up tonight Let's like go all the way, unlike we normally do, which is close, but this is gonna take us to the next level. We're gonna get so tore up. Ah! This is the best thing, that's what my dealer said. Are you ready, girl? Cheer the girls now. Do you like feel something? Welcome to an intermission of me playing, practicing really guitar for 30 minutes. I bought this guitar, and well, my parents bought it for me in 2007 since I've had it, and in a long time I did not practice it. I've really been practicing it now for two years, so it's been a long time. Now I'm practicing, I'm practicing it for these videos. 
because I want to use it in the music and maybe in the videos and that's what's up. I hope you enjoy or maybe, you know, I don't know, you can leave a comment about how
Yeah, so like we were going to like Chili's and I was very excited because I love the jalapeno poppers there. I'm a really spicy girl. And like, I just love jalapeno poppers. I love how they pop in your mouth. Oh God, this hair is in my face. <laughs> And so he was um, telling me all these stories about his life. It was really boring. Um, Raphael, who I went on a, uh, a date with um, on the weekend. And Raphael was telling me he has a child, but the mother is currently taking care of it. So like, I don't have to worry about that. So that's cool. And anyways, though, we were at Chili's and like I got my jalapeno poppers and it was fun. And I, he got the endless, the bottomless nacho chips. Um, like, is it nacho chips or it's like salsa and dip or something? Where? That's all he ate was um, at Chili's. They have bottomless nachos? They have bottomless, na they have bottomless nachos over there. Yeah. Or it's like salsa and chips or something. I don't know. I was really paying really attention. I guess you're right, yeah. But he was pouring, like, he got a hamburger and he, like, ground it up and was putting it on top of it. It was pretty cool. It's a good idea that I thought, like, I never would have thought of doing that. Mm hmm How do I look so far? Like, uh, Oh, that's cool. I like that. So, anyways, like, he, um, said, hey, so I guess we should call it a night and... Um, he didn't offer to pay. I should put in my profile, like, if you're not gonna pay, then I'm not, something should rhyme. If you're not gonna pay, you go away. Oh, if you're not gonna pay, then you're not gonna get laid. I really wanna go all out today. I know it's gonna be like a super, it's gonna be, oh my God, no, did I lose all of it? And I really wanna use this makeup, which you're using. So I'm gonna start using it now. What are you using? Um, a brush. I'm okay. using that one and that one. Those I'm gonna use purple. this one. You think I expect too much? But I'm only expecting what society tells me to expect and I feel like that's less than what I would expect as a person. So like, so I use Dixie Place because it's more of an environmental choice because water is very restricted in Africa and people don't have access to clean water. And so when you clean plates, you're using water that the Africans can use. <laughs> and I feel like that is an environmental like hazard. And you're not being very like, you're not being very conscious of the world if you use like, like glass plates because people need, you know, they need, once he said he wasn't gonna pay, I mean, he didn't say he wasn't gonna pay, but he was like, you know, bring us separate checks. And that's when I like almost went off on him. Speed round. I have to finish. We have to go to the club now. So, I gotta put this makeup on or else I'm gonna look like shit. For
was your birthday. A surprise. You didn't expect a present, and I didn't expect what would happen. He shot you, leaving me alive. I don't know why, but I don't need an answer. I will avenge your death, my friend. And I will give you the best birthday present you'd ever had. Happy birthday, my friend. Nemé qui t'y parle, il faut oublier tout ou s'oublier, qui s'effondent déjà, oublier le temps du malentendu et le temps pardon, en si voir comment, oublier ces heures qui tuaient pour voir. Ah, cool, tu peux croire la cure du bonheur. Ne me quitte pas, ne me quitte pas, ne me quitte pas, ne me quitte pas.